So McSkelly, do you want to just head out and do a random drive? Maybe walk around Albuquerque? Yeah, I'd like that. All right. Well, let's go then. Problem is we're wasting gas. Well, maybe someone can help out with that. Well, maybe. That's all right. Well, let's go. Yeah, just out doing a random drive. Drive and walk, maybe. And uh, McSkelly seems to be pretty excited about it, but he's upset he can't get out of the car. I don't know about him, but he sure has a very positive attitude. So let's just go here and there. No real plans. And uh, just explore Albuquerque. Let's go. Hey, Frenchie! Now, I don't believe it. There's two more transformer, sculpture, monster type things here. Haven't seen this guy before. He's got serious gunnage there. <laughs> Shocks in his knees. And a little head. Very cool. And these two were the most recent ones prior to those. Because I remember running down here and checking them out after I drove by and saw them. Like I said earlier, another video. I, they're going to fill this parking lot with these sculptures. Got to say hello to the gorilla that's made out of almost entirely of spark plugs. That is the coolest thing. Then we've got uh, old Bumblebee Transformer back here. Now this guy here is brand, brand new. I have not seen him. Of course, I haven't been in this area for a while. That is a scary scary guy looks pretty dangerous I love the doors up there it has wings bumblebee wings into the sun there There's always someone hanging out down here. 
That's why I've never had a chance to really check this guy out. Oh, into the sun. Oof. Looks like a dangerous mace. And look at that face. That looks like a real human face. A dragon there. In the courthouse district right now. Big beautiful Bernalillo County Courthouse. Then we've got the Metro Courthouse. Then we have the Federal Courthouse. I'll tell you, when you get out into some open space here, cement or tarmac or uh, pavement, you can really feel that heat. Whew. I think next location, we're going to look for some shade. I've never noticed this before. It looks like a, uh, like a river. A river or something leading to the front doors of the courthouse. Bernalillo. For those not around this area, yeah, the two L's together there makes a Y sound. It's not Bernalillo. It's Bernalillo. Time capsule to be opened in 2030. Oh, that's not too far away, actually. Here's some shade. <laughs> My phone periodically starts to heat up and I get a little message on there that says you have to wait for it to cool down to use the camera. So I've had it happen before, but it seems like it's happening a lot now. It may be time for a new phone, unfortunately. Now I'm shooting with a more wide angle lens today, trying to get a better quality. But the problem is you have to be way back to get everything in. <laughs> One or the other with, the, with this camera. What's that say? My mom's. That's my mom's, or, or is that their mom's? I think it's their mom's place. Albuquerque Police Department over there. And right next door is the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Department. Now, if you've been watching me a while when I do uh, downtown or a bigger part of the metro area, I usually do them either really early or on a weekend and no one's around. So, so I got, get a lot of uh, newer viewers, which I really appreciate. And it's understandable. They say, where's everybody? What, what is going on? Well, Albuquerque is not one of those 24 seven cities. It's a good size with all uh, surrounding areas, townships, we're about a million people. And uh, pretty good size, but uh, we're just not that kind of city yet to where the people are just walking the streets like crazy all the time. Nine to five, Monday through Friday, basically. A little basketball court. A little worn out. Now that building right there is so pretty at night. It's just glowing green. 
I'm not sure why they chose green, but it sure stands out at night down here. Really bright and very pretty. Looks like it's about 12.33 and about 12.16. Look at those beautiful clouds on a very warm day. I just walked around the block and my car's still there. Woohoo! Okay, moving on. Where? I don't know. I just like walking around, especially downtown. But as far as parking, don't even take the chance. Believe me, I've gone through it. You'll get towed, ticketed. Your car may be damaged. But uh, don't just park anywhere. Make sure you park at a, uh, uh, a meter or somewhere where you have to pay because and don't try to park in neighbors parking areas uh, by their uh, driveways and stuff because they get upset too so just a little pointer whoa what What'd you say goodbye you big ape stay cool bro ah there's a clock up there too i had to stop at this little park i just love it just a teeny little corner that's usually kept pretty nice. It's not really a park. I don't know what it is. Beautiful sculpture here. Pioneer Mother sculpture. Into the primitive west, faced up flung towards the sun. Bravely she came, her children beside her. Here she made them a home, beautiful pioneer mother. Hey, Jack, Jackalope. Well, McSkelly, how's it going so far? It's going great. All righty then. Now, I've driven by this church hundreds of times. I've never come and looked at it up close. Right in the uh, university area. I just want to take a look at it. It looks pretty ornate. Cool, cool, cool. Central Methodist Church erected 1950. Okay, now I can say that, yeah, I checked out that uh, church up close and personal. Isn't this nice? Oh yeah. Very, very pleasant. <laughs> I want to walk around this area just a little bit. Kind of nostalgic for me. Now this is still a shoe repair shop, but I'm sure the guy that owned it is no longer there. I'm sorry, I can't even remember his name, but on our breaks we used to come out here and hang out. This was our this is our hangout. Uh, we sit up on his uh, special chair there where he worked on people's shoes. And uh, it just was nice to have a bunch of guys to talk to. And very 
stinky leathery repair shop. The comic book store around the corner. That used to be kind of like a general type store that we used to like to go to. I'm talking many, many years ago. Now I've shown these before periodically, but I just love these. Oh, there's some new ones over there. Some awesome, awesome murals. And this truck here is painted up nice. Kind of graffitied more than anything. But there's a uh, lady for uh, Dia de Muertos with a six shooter. Todos Recuerdos. Probably not the smartest thing to be walking in an alley behind Central here, but on my brakes, other than going to the store or the uh, shoe repair shop, I used to walk like crazy on my lunch break. I just walked all over this place. That's when I started my, my walking routine, and that was many, many years ago, off and on, of course. Yeah, these are definitely some new murals. Of course they would be. I haven't been here forever. There must be a restaurant nearby because I am smelling like barbecue beans or something. It smells really, really good. Now this is the old firehouse. It's the first firehouse in the area and it was called Firehouse Restaurant for years. And I think it just changed hands recently. I can't remember the name. Let's see. It's now called the Smoky Note. Well, Knob Hill is uh, really hopping. Time for a little junk food break back in my diet tomorrow. <laughs> That's what we all say. Wabi Sabi Wasabi King of Sabi. 
found a nice park. To eat my lunch. I'd come here periodically for, for my lunch break when the weather was nice or in the fall. And it was so nice just to watch the leaves fall. A lot of trees, very nice park. It's very healy. Well, while we're here, we might as well walk around a little bit and enjoy the park. Get a little exercise for today. Check out this uh, picture out here. Looks like it lights up too. That's pretty cool. Oh, I love a park with a lot of trees little sloping hills it's just the best nice and quiet nice neighborhood this guy over here doing meditation Well, folks, I guess that's going to do it for today's video. I just looked at my battery percentage, and it is very, very depleted. So that's going to do it. And uh, it's the end of the weekend, so I've got to make sure things are buttoned up, ready to go for the week. But uh, it's been a... It's been a great time hanging out with you. Thank you so much for coming along. Thank you for viewing. And again, uh, hitting that milestone of over 2,000 subscribers. That makes my day. And I sure needed my day to be made because things can be kind of rough. But thank you so much again. Thank you. And uh, I will see you very, very soon. And uh, I'll look forward to it. And I hope you do too. Hope you have a good time. Bye for now. <laughs>